Gamble Osaka Nil, Jose University 2, absolutely amazing. Jose were faultless, they played a superb game, played professional. You would never imagine that they were a university team. Gamba, yeah, it wasn't a full strength team, but Jose University just didn't give them a chance. Um, incredible performance, really, and I'm shocked actually how good they were tonight. I saw them actually play in the previous round against Tokyo Verdi, and you could kind of say, yeah, maybe they did it once, kind of a fluke, but that wasn't a fluke tonight. They were absolutely brilliant. So now we're going to follow Jose University to the next round, and I think on tonight's performance, they could possibly beat anybody. Yeah, okay, so maybe Jose can't beat anyone, um, or everyone, sorry. Got a little bit carried away at the end of that match, but... It was um, an amazing performance from a team that plays in a university league. They're, the players are all students at Jose University and they've knocked out a J1 team, Gamba Osaka, who are one of the biggest teams in Japan. And that's not all. As I mentioned earlier in the previous round, they knocked out Tokyo Verdi. So they've knocked out two J League teams and they're now into the last 16 of the Emperor's Cup. So our journey that began in Shimane, um, then went to Gamba Osaka, then came back to Tokyo, is continuing with a university team at this stage, which I didn't expect. So that's going to be interesting and I will talk about the draw uh, later. Um, but before that, I want to just give some thoughts on that game. Um, so as you can see, um, the Gamba fans pretty much took over that stadium. Um, it's obviously not their home ground. Um, this, the match, this match was played in Tokyo. Um, it was kind of a neutral ground in the end. The, the stadium was split 50-50, so um, there were like 50% of it was for Gamba fans, 50% of it was for Jose fans, but obviously Gamba was like a, a J1 team. They're very well supported, so they took over the stadium. But it was really interesting to see them here in, um, it's quite near to where I live, um, in Tokyo. And as you can see, they were absolutely fantastic. They were so loud throughout the game. Um, and they're, they're proper football fans, really. They really they really support the team with everything they've got. They're not afraid to show their frustration. Obviously, quite a lot of frustration in this game. But what I loved the most was at the end when... Um, they gave a lot of abuse to their own players, but they gave such a nice welcome, nice um, uh, what's the word? reception 
to the whole state players. That um, kind of celebration they were doing at the whole state players is what they would normally do to their own players when they win a game. So that was lovely to see them do that for the whole state players. It, can, it really meant a lot to the players. You could see they were shaking hands with the Gamba fans as well. So that was really good to see. Um, but I am a little bit sad that Gamba are out because the fans were awesome. Um, and I feel bad for the fans as well that they had to see that performance. It's not fair that the players play like that in a cup game. Um, you can say what you want about the Empress Cup. You can say it's not important. You can say the league is more important. But Gamba and Osaka are in a league position where they're not going to get relegated. Well, it's unlikely, famous last words, that they're going to get relegated. They're not pushing for Asian Champions League qualification or the title. But the Empress Cup, if you win the Empress Cup, you qualify for the Asian Champions League. So for me, it just boggles my mind why a team like Gamba or Osaka wouldn't take it seriously. The team they put out was fairly strong, but mentally they, they weren't at the, at the races. They didn't care. The players just didn't have any desire in that match. Whereas the Jose players really were going for it. You could see them, they ran the whole game. They ran non-stop. They pressed Gamba. They were just all over them. And Gamba didn't have a chance. Um, you'd, you'd like to think, obviously, Gamba on their day would beat Jose. But Jose rose to the occasion. Gamba didn't turn up. And that was the result. And... Um, but take nothing away from Jose, like I said, at the end of the uh, wrap-up at the stadium. On that sort of performance, with that sort of um, passion and desire, they, they could go far into this tournament. Which brings us on to the draw. So, in round four, it's going to be Jose University against Venfore Corfu, a, a team in J2. So, um, Jose have already beaten... Tokyo Verdi, who play in J2. This is another J2 team. Corfu, though, are, I would say this season, are stronger than Tokyo Verdi. They've got a really good strike force. Uh, the one striker in particular is very good, called Peter Utaka. He's a very prolific goal scorer at J2 level. It's going to be tough. It's going to be at Corfu's ground, uh, Yamanashi Dual Bank Stadium. And um, the last time I went to that stadium, the weather conditions weren't great. Um, the draw, then, as you can see on the screen, so the winner of uh, Venture Corfu and Jose University will play um, either Viva and Nagasaki or Vigalta Sendai in the quarterfinals. Now, I, I love Nagasaki. I think it's a really beautiful city. It's one of my favourite places in Japan. But I could do without having to fly all the way to Nagasaki for a quarterfinal match. But if it happens, it happens. But yeah, we could be going all the way to Nagasaki, Sendai, not too far. Um, there's another interesting story developing in this year's Emperor's Cup, which is Honda FC, who play in the JFL, which is a Japanese non-league, one level below J3. So in Japan you have J1, which is the top, then J2, Gen, then J3, those are the three professional leagues. The JFL is one division below that. Honda FC are a corporate team for the Honda Motor Company. They have no desire to be in the J-League, so they're happy to be in the JFL because if you get promoted to the J-League, you have to lose your corporate identity and take the identity of your hometown. Uh, Honda don't want to do that because they want to keep the backing, so they're not going to be a J-League team. Um, they're not, they've got no intention of that. However, they're very strong. They're a decent team, and um, in the next round, they're playing Urawa Reds. Urawa! Um, who are another very big team in Japan. Um, I might actually go to that game because it's quite near to my house, so look out for that video. We might do an Road to the Final Extra where I might go and watch that match. Um, and then also we have um, Kashima Antlers versus Yokohama F. Marinos in the other um, side of this draw. So our potential semi final game is going to be either Horse University. Venfure Corfu, Vigalta Sendai, or Viva Nagasaki versus either Honda FC, Urawa Reds, Yokohama F. Marinos, or Kashima Antlers. And you can see on the other side as well, we have some other big teams on the other side. So potentially in the final, we could have Vissel Kobe, uh, Kawasaki Frontale, uh, Sanfrecce Hiroshima, Oita Trinita, 
uh, Saka and Tosu, so, so Osaka, Jubilo Iwata, and uh, Shimizu Espels. So there were 12 J1 teams left, two J2 teams, one JFL team, and of course our university team, also University, who we're going to watch in the next round against Venfue Kofu. So thank you very much for watching. Um, in the comment section, if you want to make a prediction, how far do you think Jose will go? Um, because so far in this uh, road to the final, we've not seen um, the same team go through more than one round. So we saw Kamatamare Sanuki beat Matsue City. Then they lost to Gamba Osaka straight away in the second round. Then Gamba Osaka lost to Jose in the third round. So we've seen three rounds and three different winners, which I didn't expect at the beginning. So let me know your thoughts, who you think is going to win out of um, Jose and Corfu, and also who do you think is going to win the entire thing? Who are we going to be watching on January the 1st in the final? Let me know, and uh, let's see if anyone can predict the winner. So um, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back in September for the last 16 match between Jose University and Renfrew Corfu. Thank you very much, see you next time.